Bond, MI6 has been contacted by Alexander Mayhew, Raphael Drake's chief of Asian operations. Mayhew fears that Drake intends to kill him, holding him responsible for their little setback in Austria. In exchange for our protection, Mayhew will deliver evidence exposing Drake's master plan, codenamed Nightfire, a scheme that Mayhew insists threatens global security. The name's Bond. James Bond. Oh, he said the thing again. Mayhew's son is expecting you. Mayhew has one demand to be brought in by James Bond himself. Our informant awaits you at his Japanese estate. Good luck, 007. Ah, Mr. Bond, at last. This is Kiko Hayashi, my bodyguard. I assure you, she is quite skilled. No doubt. The Nightfire data, Mayhew. We weren't expecting other guests. Please, stay with Alex. It's Drake! Quick! We must get to the security bunker. Oh my god, it's all kicking off. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Nightfire with me, the Doctor. So this episode, we've got to protect Mayhew as he gives us, oh, important intel on the Nightfire operation. And do you recognize his bodyguard, Kihu, Kiku Hayashi? We saw her in Drake's Manor in Austria, um, because... Oh, uh, well, check the hallway then. See, hallway's fine. There's definitely nothing behind this door. Oh, let's go into silence mode. Not that it'll help here. Ah, the joys of easy difficulty. You just blend through these guys. Now, that guy did take a bit of a few shots to go down. Right, there's another guy around here. Oh, picked up a Frenesi Auto. Oh, Magnum is actually pretty good as well. Very powerful handgun. This is basically... So this game has a lot of real guns in it, in inverted commas. But they didn't pay the licensing rights to those various firearms comp companies. Uh, so this is an SPAS-12. Uh, but it's called a Frenzy Auto-12 because they didn't pay the rights to the firearms company. Same with a Magnum Raptor. A uh, Raptor Magnum is a Desert Eagle. <laughs> is, is is the actual gun that it is. But yeah, turns out guns are licensed in that way. Which is, knowing America, not actually surprising at all. Um... But yeah, you may recognise from when we were in the party in... Ooh, sweet samurai armour. When we were in the party in Drake's Manor in Austria... Ooh, bugger. Shit. Yeah, this thing... I was going to say isn't great at long range, but apparently it wasn't bad there. Yeah, if you, you... We saw Kiku, and if you tried to, like, talk to her, she was like, I'm waiting for someone. Um, and indeed she was. Um, because she's Mayhew's bodyguard. Right, the bunker is now through here. What you're looking for is locked in my bedroom safe. This is the key. Just feed it to the dragon. The dragon? Right. Keep your head down. I'll be back for you. Also, could you wipe the hard drive on my computer? I don't want to leave a data trail for Drake to follow. And please protect my servants. They're like family to me. I love Bond's face though, like, you got a lot of demands, old man. Also, he's supposed to be British, but he says data. None of us say data. We all say data. So, I'm a I suppose he's supposed to be a British expat, so he's been away from Britain for quite some time. Oh, hello. So, out in the gardens, there's a lot of enemies around, and it's quite easy to get snuck up on. Night vision is not the best, but the thermal can be a bit helpful. There's a guy over to the right here. So, what we're wielding at the moment, the Auto-12 is a shotgun, which is very handy in close range. And... I hope to be in close range for most of this thing. I basically, I kind of have a rough idea of where most of the enemies are. There's a guy over there that's not ideal. Oh, um, we have, okay, we've got an M32 as well, which is basically an Uzi. So it's a kind of handheld machine gun, which is quite handy for taking out guys at a distance. But this is a relatively close quarters level. So as Mayhew said, we've got two goals. Three goals, technically. We've got a... Oh, bugger. Um, we've got to rescue two of his... Well, he calls them servants, but the game calls them geisha girls, and the comments can correct me, but I believe there's a hell of a difference between those two uh, kind of roles, really, that geisha girls are not just Japanese serving girls. Um, Alright, we've got him down. But 
we do need to do both. So we need to rescue the hostages, and then we need to wipe his computer, and then we need to get the Nightfire data from the dragon safe, which is actually, you know what, relatively as cool as it sounds, uh, these guys we are not going to be able to get too close to, I don't think so. I'll just use the storm to take them out nice and quickly. Easy. That's because we're on easy mode. But right, you can see, so the computer we're looking for is in there. We need to come around to the left here, and then we can sneak into the house, hopefully, that way. So you've got two modes for this, actually. So I've not really talked about alternative fire, but if I press B, you'll see it goes from pump in the bottom right to auto. So basically, a pump pump mode is you fire once, and then you have to do the ch and then you reload by slapping another cartridge in. Auto, you can fire shots. One, two, three. Easily there. Four, five, six, seven. You can fire the entire clip. But then if you want to reload it, you have to go... It takes longer to reload, and it isn't as powerful. Um, and why is it? Oh, there's his computer. Oh, Winter Tactical Sniper, you say? I do love the old Tactical Sniper. So, we need to wipe his computer, which is done in the old-fashioned way, with a shotgun. Computer wiped. We all know that's not actually the case. It's actually quite... To wipe a hard drive in a way that there's nothing recoverable from, I, don't, I wouldn't rely necessarily on doing that. Oh, okay. Killed civilian? I didn't do anything! And maybe that was the issue. Alright, let's try that again. Wipe the computer in the old-fashioned sense. And kill these dudes. And then I guess there's a hostage through here, which I fucked up with. I definitely didn't shoot anyone. But they may have shot someone. And that apparently counts as my fault. Oh, bugger. Who's still shooting at me? Oh, shit. There's a guy over there. Bugger, bugger, bugger. There we go. She's okay. Just <laughs> apparently stare uh, straight in the eye while reloading a shotgun. Nothing about that is intimidating to someone who's just been held at gunpoint. Right, let's go through the old frowny faces. Oh, not all objectives completed. Okay, so I need to come back here when I have freed the other geisha girl, and also I need to open the dragon's safe, don't I? Um, can I go anywhere else in here? I don't think I can. So I'm guessing I need to explore back outside in the garden some more. I think this controller is a bit gammy on its forwards. Or well, this game is just slow on its forward. So I did notice when I was watching the old speedrun, they only went forwards, like, diagonally. They'd kind of go diagonally forward and left and then forward and right, saying it was faster. And, you know, they may be onto something. Oh, I can go through here. I remember this being a thing. So that's our swim health in the top right there. Look at me, I'm like a fucking ninja. Oh, that's a bond move right there. Oh, released all the hostages. Wonderful. Missed this guy. And this guy's gonna kill me. Oh no, got them all. Oh, that was so fucking good. How will I repay you? If I live through this, I'll need a large sake and one hell of a massage. <laughs> they definitely made they nailed the shit lines that really are the heart and soul of a Bond film. Right, so we've freed all of the hostages, we've wiped the computer, and now we just need to find the dragon safe. Fucked if I can remember where that is, but also, I would just like to say, emerging out of the fucking drainage system there and be like, surprise, bitch, with the shotgun. Like, damn right that's worth a bond move, that was cool as shit. So was it in one of the baths that we came up through? Oh, we came up through there, oh, that's so cool. I'm not really confident with the amount of health we have remaining here. You'll notice whenever- oh, I was going to say whenever there's a loading screen, but I think I've been cutting them out as far as you're concerned from now on. Oh shit, there's a guy over there. Let's take him out if we can. Oh shit! Oh, you surprised him. Hey, hey, there we go. Um, yeah, I think I've actually mostly been cutting loading screens out, but loading screens are basically your uh, checkpoints. Oh, right, there's something down here. Oh, this looks- Wait, was this where we came from? This is where we fucking came from. God damn it. Right, okay. That was not the amazing insight I thought it was. Right, there's another guy over there, so where's me your winter tactical sniper? Come on. <laughs> oh, boy, is this thing satisfying. Wait a minute, it says winter tactical sniper. That's just a tactical sniper. The winter tactical sniper is white and is also silenced. This one is absolutely based on the sound it made when I shot it, not silenced. Like, listen. <laughs> Fires into the gong for fucking demonstration of how loud it is. 
God, it is amazing. Either some of these gamming my controller, yeah, it's like going forward and left or forward and right is really slow. And the forward generally is actually quite slow. Maybe something's wrong with this controller as well. This controller is, as I say, only slightly more recent than the old one. It's still got several years behind it. Or maybe we're just moving forward because we're in, like, slowly because we're in rough terrain. Uh, right. Where haven't we been? It's right here will be through to the baths, won't it? Nope. Left here is through to the baths. Yeah, there's the baths. Okay, it's not that way then. I don't like doing this much exploration, especially when my health is this low. Do either of these doors open? No and no. Okay, so it's not that way then. Now over there looks tempting. I don't feel like we've been over here, but... At least it's nice to see my memories of this level reaffirmed. If I remember just spending ages exploring this level and not fucking finding anything. And that's pretty much what's going on. So, good to know that 14-year-old Doctor's memories of this level are actually pretty cock on. Oh, this feels new, at least. We've not been through here. Oh, it's where the fucking computer is, so this isn't new at all. Alright, maybe it's dragon safe is around here. I can't see it. Does this come out into a new room and back into the... I feel like maybe the dragon safe is around here. Because the last gate she was next to the... Oh, this is in the fucking kitchen, isn't it? Hello, you're still there. Good to see. You're still doing well. Oh! Apparently the dragon safe's in the next area. I just needed to save the geisha girls here. Cool! That's much nicer, actually. And now our objective is retrieve dragon, sa dragon save contents. And this, I have shown this once or twice, but this is the loading screen I'm talking about. So now we've at least got a checkpoint if we will come back to here. Level 07. I've added an item to your inventory. A powerful yet stealthy flashbang grenade disguised as an electric shaver. Simply place it on the ground and detonate it remotely when ready. So this is the sh Actually, that looks very similar to my shaver. If we were black in the body rather than... Um white, it would be my sha shaver, the kind of, what I call the Amorbus style one, because it looks like the boss from Metroid Prime 2, Echoes. I'm going to stick with the grenade, not the grenade, the, oh, let's knock this guy around the head. Oh, perfect. The more non-lethal subduers you can get, the better, because if they do I had huge lethal bottom score. But they do require to sneak up on people, and the stealth in this game is... Oh shit, there's another screen door in the way there. Bugger! Oh, is he gonna kill the hostage? She, she's not a hostage, I think she's just a civilian. Therefore, it sucks if I kill her. Oh! Nope, they can totally kill her. Well, at least we're only gonna go back to the last checkpoint, and we'll get our health back at least. Oh, we don't get a health back. Fuck. Well, I think it's given us half health, which is better than what we had. We'll zap this guy and then cut him around the head. And down he goes, and then... Oh god, I've got all the weapons. Wallop! Yeah. Alright, I'll try using the Raptor Magnum for a bit. It might be better than the old Spass shotgun. Well, it's called a Frenesi Auto, um, but it's based on a SPAS. Um, it's this way, and then we've got a couple of guys to kill. So I need to kill everyone from this way. One, and two, and three. Wonderful. Oh god, there's more Geisha girls here. Fucking hell. Okay, so we've got two more to free. Well, one more to free here. Right, anyone else here? Ooh, armor. I will 100% take that. Thank you. That's not a door, that's just a thing. Oh, shit. Who the fuck's shooting at me? Oh, there's a guy over there. You little prick. Right, let's switch the old Winter Tactical Sniper. Oh, that was so good. Well, that was the last of my sniper shots, but it was totally worth it. I feel like I didn't waste that. And I enjoyed it, which is what really matters here. Um, are any of these doors? Oh, that is a door. Wonderful. This is where I started. I feel like this is where I started. Well, always worth a try. Oh no, it's not! Oh shit. Yeah, the pump mode on this is much more powerful, but the trade-off is you do have to pump it every shot. The same press action to open the door, but... Oh, okay, so that's the door I go through when I've 
freed the geisha girls. I think in this area I have to get the dragon safe. So the last area I have to free two geisha girls and get the uh, the fucking what's it called destroys computer. Whereas this one we have to defeat, get two geisha girls, and then get the contents of the dragon safe. So we've got armor. And does this all lead down to the fucking roof? Oh my god. We're such a fucking ninja. Oh shit! Where the fuck did he come from? Oh, there's a hostage in there as well. Oh, we released her! Wonderful. Right. Aw, oh, look at me coming in through the ceiling. If that's not a bond move, I don't know what is. That's annoying. Right. Where's this fucking dragon safe? It's gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, stop your screaming, woman. You're fine. It said one of two two of two hostages released, so you're clearly fine. Ugh. Right. Dragon safe? Oh, that's just a hi fi. Um, I can hear a. I can hear people shouting in Japanese, so. Can't be that far away. I mean, there are clearly enemies nearby as well, but. I always used to think I was saying, Go, Mr. Bond! And I was like, Why are they encouraging me? But, I'm sure anyone who speaks even a modicum of Japanese can explain to me exactly how wrong I am. But, you know, there we go. Oh, she's still cowering over there. Oh! Bugger me! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, he scared the living dick off me! Fucking hell. And another bedroom here with nothing in it. Oh my god. This entire palace is empty. Ooh! This is... I appear to have found the janitor's closet. Wonderful. The chances of the janitor's closet having a safe in it are... I'll be honest, low. Is this a, is this a door? Yes. Right. I've been here before. This is the bit with the thing. Oh. So the hint before I loaded this bit up said, there's a door only your glasses can reveal. Is it this? It's not this. That really looks like it should be a door, but apparently it's not. Open. Okay, none of these are doors. Fuck's sake. Oh. Nope, not all I So I do need to get the dragon safe here. Okay, that is at least worth knowing. Oh, I thought there was a dude up there. Apparently it was just the shadow of a pillar. There's definitely still a couple of dudes around. I'm figuring if I basically follow the trail of enemies, that will eventually take me to this dragon safe. I've been in here before, and she's fine. So there's definitely no one still in here. Anything in here? Oh, can I not even fit in there? Come on. Wait. Uh, nah, nah. Okay, that's that's clearly inaccessible. Now this dude sounds like he's close. Oh, bugger! He's right there. I got him. Got him right in the guts. <laughs> Shotgunned him right in the dick. Okay. Ah, oh, dragon safe. Wonderful. And look at that. Picked up the code key. Right. Well, you see, here's the stupid thing. I know now technically where I need to go. Oh, but I don't know where that is. I know I've got to go to that door that was like, not all objectives complete, but I can't for the bloody life of me remember where that actually was. I feel like it was through... Here? That's not even a door, so it definitely wasn't through here. It was in the other room that had the other hostage in it, I think. Oh, that is a door. That was surprising. So over that way. Is it that wet in Japan? Games that are set in Japan, like this, like Red Steel is the other one I often cite, like both of them... It's raining for a lot of those games. And I always wonder about that, because I'm from obviously Britain, where it's very rainy a lot of the time. And I do wonder how much that is uh, like a cultural thing in that I suppose Japan's got quite an oceanic climate, so it is gonna be quite wet. Let's go. What about Kiko? Have you seen her? She's a big girl. I'm sure she can take care of herself. Wait here. Let's get moving. Oh, there goes Mayhew. So time for a fight with the ninja. So this guy's a bit of a prick, and as you'll have noticed, my auto-aim doesn't work on him. But we can still just shoot him with the shotgun. He's not got a great deal of health. Um, and as long as you just don't get too close to him, you're actually alright. He'll do a fairly consistent... Oh, fuck me. Right, when he fires up a stun grenade, hit Z and bring your thermal glasses up. That usually... Oh, bugger, let's just see through it. It did let me see through it, and he's right the fuck there. 
So the charge of your glasses in the top, when that gets to the bottom, you actually do run out of glasses juice. Oh god, we are not doing well for health here. Oh, come on, die ninja. Oh my god. Oh, shit. I wonder if something like the Storm, like the Uzi style weapon, might be better there. At least we only go back to the beginning of the ninja fight. Alright, let's try the Storm out. Oh! It feels weird him shooting a gun at you. If I'm honest. Well, that doesn't work. Neither of these modes work. Oh! God, he's, he has wrecked me. Good lord. Okay, I feel like the shotgun did better. Stay clear of the ninja sword. Maybe that means he just does damage when he's close to us. Oh, I'll stick with the shotgun, because that seems to be what it opens me with. Oh, bugger me. I'm just going to keep moving while this is on, rather than trying to put my glasses on or anything. I'm just wiggling the control stick around a bit to keep on the on, on my old toes. Where's he gone? Oh, cheeky bastard. You know what I haven't used yet? I haven't used the old filler shave uh, stun grenade. Let's launch that. And bam. Really should have looked away when I did that. That would have been real clever. Now I'm blinder than ever. Fuck's sake. I'm an idiot. Blinded myself. Oh, bugger. Get your fucking sword away, you little bitch. Also, I love how, like, most other enemies died with, like, a glancing blow from this shotgun. Whereas he... Oh, that's a lot of backflips there. He can take, like, six shotgun hits to the face. There we go, you silly sod. Mission complete. Wonderful. I mean, Mayhew is dead, so I'm doing that since mission isn't complete. But we did get everything we needed. Which is a callous way of looking at it. The code key you found in my safe will lead you to the Nightfire evidence. The Phoenix building in Tokyo. Tokyo? You'll need the password to the mainframe. It's Afterburn. I thought the evidence was here, Mayhew. I did a little extra insurance policy to keep me alive. A lot of good it did me. Huh? <laughs> I was pinned down. Panics. I promise you. Drake will pay. Kiko, you're not safe here. Come with me. Oh god. Nice work, Doctor. You completed the mission. That means you didn't even get enough uh, bronze. Which is awful. What do I need to get bronze? Um, nope. X. There we go. Um... I killed enough enemies, I need to subdue more, maybe be a lot more accurate. Oh, I think I had such low health throughout it, and it was very slow. That mission, I find the layout of it really confusing, so it does take me a lot of, like, I've just not learnt where all the areas and enemies and all the objectives are yet, so I guess that's always my issue there. But, that's that episode. Next episode will be, well, we got not the Nightfire data we wanted, but we got the codes to access the Nightfire data, which is in the Phoenix building in Tokyo. And next episode, we will be sneaking into there in a wonderful stealth-based episode. So, I hope you'll join me then. Thank you very much, and good day.